on the, the earnings calls, right? Meta mentions AI 57 times, Alphabet mentions it 52 times, Microsoft 36, Amazon 12. Is there a bubble in AI right now? I mean, Scott, before we talk about whether or not there's a bubble, I think it's just really important to calibrate um, what AI is all about. I mean, the investments in the data, in the silicon, in the models that allow machines to help humans make better decisions have been going on for decades. In 2017, we had a bit of a breakthrough with the transformer model. I remember Satya asked me to speak to the business roundtable in 2018. I said I thought that AI would be bigger than the internet itself, that it would un unleash a whole new wave of productivity for the U.S. economy. And then because of some of the work by ChatGPT, by OpenAI, by Microsoft, by Google, we have this Cambrian moment with ChatGPT that really brought the work that's been going on for a decade into the public consciousness. You know, you could have bought NVIDIA last Q4, right, for $125 a share. It's a double off of that low. They just beat revenue in the quarter significantly, but I think what you need to understand is this is not a snapshot. This is not a momentary beat on numbers. NVIDIA and Jensen, their remarkable founder and CEO, has been working on this problem of accelerated compute for over 30 years. This is going to allow every enterprise to become more efficient, every enterprise to better serve their consumers. It's going to allow consumers to live better lives. So I think this is a transformative moment. It's now entered the consciousness of every boardroom, of every CEO. Here we are at Milken, right? An extraordinary event, 900 panels talking about how to move the economy forward, how to bridge the wealth divide, how to do you know, important things in, in U.S. enterprise. And AI is the central most important topic of conversation. But five years from now, we won't be talking about AI this way. AI is going to be talked about the same way that we talk about the internet or we talked about mobile or cloud. It is the substrate that will power everything to move humanity forward. And so from that perspective, sure, in any particular moment in time, are there too many people jumping on the bandwagon? I see things in venture capital we passed on, I think, 100 companies related to AI. Wow. Sure, you'll have valuation concerns, but unlike Unlike something like crypto, where you and I sat, I sat in this very chair, and I said crypto is a $3 trillion market cap in search of a use case, right? In the case of AI, every company is already finding ways to benefit from AI, and we have full stack companies, Moderna, Tesla, et cetera, doing extraordinarily, extraordinary things built on the back of AI. So much more to come. Yeah, I'm also wondering how you think about the potential problems uh, around it. The so-called godfather of, of uh, AI recently left Alphabet and said of the technology, quote, it's hard to see how you can prevent the bad actors from using it for bad things. You worry about that? I mean, you can't not worry about that. Frankly, I remember reading Thomas Friedman's book, The World is Flat, when he was talking about the internet and how he said it would create super empowered individuals, individuals that had the ability to create as much harm as the nation state itself. And anybody who lived through the sobering moments of September 11, 2001, Witness that non nation state actors that were able to coordinate using the internet and other other mechanisms to do harm. But at the end of the day, I'm an optimist on the human condition. We can't stop progress. This has way more potential for good than bad, but I'm happy that we have folks like them, folks like Elon, that are raising their hands and saying we need to slow down and be responsible. Now, what does slow down mean? I think we need a healthy ecosystem. I would love to see the government, and I know the government is getting more involved, not necessarily setting up, a, you know, an, an FDA for AI, as, as Chamath has suggested, but simply, you know, making sure that we have the federal government, getting the federal government first on board with AI. I would love to see the Fed become more AI-driven in its decision-making. Um, but I think we need a healthy ecosystem. I said a healthy Google uh, makes for more responsible AI. Um, and so, sure, I think there are reasons for concern. I think it's, it's good to see 
so many voices that are discussing it, but we're not going to start hu stop human progress. We can't have every software engineer working on AI submitting their code to the federal government. That would be a disaster. China's not going to slow down. This is the arc on which all strategic conflicts will be based in the future. Um, so I think the U.S. has a massive advantage. Remember, ChatGPT, OpenAI, uh, DeepMind, those are U.S. companies. Those are U.S. innovations.